My name is Dr. Pishy Patel, Professor and Chief Soil Health Specialist, Anand Agriculture University and Parul University and Mati Mati Agromod Private Limited, Anand Gujarat, India. So, the today, the, the topic of the YouTube is hazards, hazardous health effect of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. So, organic agriculture is the oldest form of agriculture on earth. Organic farming is also the healthiest way of farming for the earth. Farming without the use of petroleum-based chemicals, fertilizer and pesticide is organic farming. Agriculture in modern times is getting more and more dependent upon the steady support of artificial fertilizers and pesticides with the introduction of green revolution technologies. How do fertilizer effect on human health? So dust of chemical fertilizer pollute air during application in the field and create problem while taking brief skin and eye irritation, etc. Water become polluted through the run of chemical fertilizers like nitrogenous fertilizers and Ultimately, we become sick by drinking of this polluted water. So, the underground water becomes polluted due to excess use of the chemical fertilizer in agriculture. Then third one is excessive use of chemical fertilizer may toxic to the soil, plant, water and microbes in soil. So, at present, we are not observing less population observing in the soil of the microbes due to the excessive use of chemical fertilizers. The farmers are using the excessive dose of chemical fertilizers because they assume that when they apply more fertilizer then they will produce the maximum crop production but it is not true. What are the effects of fertilizer on the environment? A study found that excessive use of inorganic chemical fertilizer can cause problem with the heavy metal that can be found in it. These heavy metals include lead, mercury, cadmium, and uranium, which can have a negative impact on the kidney, liver, and lungs, which are associated with other human health hazards. Fertilizers are a combination of potentially harmful chemicals which can be absorbed by plants and possibly enter in the food chain through cereal, vegetable and can even make it way through our drinking water. So fertilizer residue and pesticide residue will arrive in our body through the food chain as we are eating cereal, vegetable and we are drinking the water. Food crops that are grown using inorganic fertilizers are known to be less nutritious since it mainly target the fast growth of plant rather than its nutrition value. You know that when we are grow the organic farming, the crop grown through the organic farming, then that have a better taste. Whereas when we are using the inorganic chemical fertilizers, then the taste of the and nutrients are less in the food because when we apply the inorganic chemical fertilizers then the growth uh, of the crop is fast and the main target to improve the growth and to increase the production. So in inorganic fertilizer we are getting more crop production but the uh, nutrients are less because dilution effect because more grain production or fruits a uh, higher fruit yield whereas in organic farming we are getting the less grain production or smaller uh, size of the fruits and we have the higher nutrients and better taste in organic farming. Additionally, exposure to ammonium nitrate 
which is widely used in chemical fertilizer can cause eye and skin irritation which can lead to a burning sensation. Human health issue related to pesticide. pesticides. Pesticides are designed to in most cases kill pests. Many pesticides can also pose risk to people. Generally, however, people are likely to be exposed to only very small amount of pesticide, too small to pose a risk. To determine risk, one must consider both the toxicity or hazards of the pesticide and the likelihood of exposure. The health effect of pesticide depends on the type of pesticide. So, the health effect on the human being are dependent on the type of pesticide. Some such as the organophosphates and carbamates affect the nervous system. Others may irritate the skin or eyes. Some pesticides may be carcinogenous. Others may affect the hormone or endocrine, endocrine system in the human body. Hazardous effect of chemical pesticide on human health, cancer and other associated disorders. Poisoning from pesticide is a global public health problem and accounts for nearly 3 lakh deaths worldwide every year. Exposure to pesticide is inevitable. There are different modes through which humans get exposed to pesticides. Pesticides are used extensively in agriculture and domestic setting and these chemicals are believed to cause many disorders in humans and wildlife. So it will not affect only human but it affects on of the wildlife. So pesticides have shown to be involved in the pathogenesis of Parkinson and Alzheimer's disease as well as various disorders of the respiratory and reproductive tracts. Risks and dangers of chemical fertilizer and pesticides. Chemical pesticides have been known for their ability to cause a wide array of negative health effects to humans. Pesticide exposure, for instance, can cause adverse health effects on humans, especially unsafe pesticide dealers. You know that farmers are spraying the pesticide with higher concentration. Why they are doing why, why they are using the higher concentration? Because they believe that when the concentration is greater, then they have to spray the pesticide at longer interval. But when the concentration is low as per the recommendation of the state agriculture university, then they have to spray frequently. They are not worried the health of the humans, but they worried for their crops. Excessive pesticide levels are just a dangerous for humans as the use of excessive quantities of fertilizer. So, farmers are using the excessive use of chemical fertilizers and also higher concentrations of the pesticide and spraying, foliar spraying of the pesticide. Then they believe that when they are using the excessive dose of the chemical fertilizer and higher concentration of pesticide, then there will be no pest disease observed on the plants and they are obtained, they, they, they thought that they obtained the maximum crop production, but it is not true. These chemicals have also been linked to a number of detrimental impacts, not only to the ecosystem, but also to human health. So at present, we are knowing that the peoples have the problem of the different type of disease due to the heavy chemical fertilizers because farmer adding and the pesticide residues. They are observing the pesticide residue in the vegetables and in fruit crops and we are consuming that and we have the problem. So pesticide cycle, so here you can see that pesticide, so the spray, so the pesticide absorbed by the crop. So that pesticide residue, 
and that will transmit to the human being through the pore. Then degraded by ultraviolet light, violet light, vaporized to atmosphere, deposited by rainfall. So leach below root zone by rain or irrigation. So that has been let down through the rain or irrigation. So the the water is also polluted. And that such type of uh, polluted water we are drinking, and we have the health problem. Degraded by bacterial oxidation or chemical hydrolysis. So adhere to soil particles, surface runoff to lakes and rivers. So it also found pesticide acid found in lakes and also rivers. And when the animals and human beings drink the water, then they have the problem of the pesticide residue and they observe the different disease to the human being. So health risk associated with the um, synthetic pesticides because pesticides end up virtually everywhere instead of remaining on crop. Their existence in our environment, well, environment has been linked to the following health problem. So when there is a synthetic pesticide, then there is a problem of the skin, eye, and lung irritation, hormone disruption, brain and nervous system toxicity, then cancer, you know that it's dangerous disease to the human being. And there is a death, then blood disorder, nerve disorder, birth defects, toxic to the fetus. So you will observe to the birth defects when they they are consume the pesticide residue to the food or meal or fruits or vegetable, then the birth also defects and the toxic effect to the fetus because you know that they are very sensitive to the pesticide residues as compared to elder one. Then reproduction effect also due to the synthetic pesticide acidity. So children living in area with heavy pesticide use as singly impair hand eye coordination, decrease physical stamina, short term memory impairment and trouble drawing. So at present we are observing due to the synthetic pesticide acidities and excessive use of chemical fertilizer on crops. So we are observing the effect at present. So harmful effect of pesticide residues. So to human short term impacts, endocrine disruption, acute dangerous chronic health effect can cause many type of cancer. So we have seen that the cancer is a very dangerous disease to the human being due to the uh, pesticide residue and the uh, chemicals. The harmful effect of chemical fertilizer and pesticide. So please, pesticide application, please keep off. So don't use more. You farmers would have to use judicious use of chemical fertilizer and pesticide for the better health of the human being as well as for the soil health. So you can see that skin problem caused by pesticide exposure. So you can see here the excess use of the chemical fertilizer and pesticide effect on animal health. So arsenic poisoning in cattle, you can see here arsenic cattle, it is a heavy metal. Then methoglobin reason we are observing due to the pesticide residue and chemical fertilizer. Then pesticide and humans, so insects, rodents, humans have similar nervous circulatory and respiratory system. So pesticide can affect people too. So health effect to the pesticide and human, so small animals. Then 56 cows die after feeding on pesticide in Dela village in Andhra. And the toxic plant chemical industry, 
induced impact pesticide on water quality. So you can see that this line due to pesticide residue. So fertilizer use, soil health and agriculture sustainability. Pavel and co 2022 reported that fertilizer application believed to have been responsible for at least 50% increase in crop yield in the 20th century. Average corn yield would decline by 40% without nitrogen fertilizer application, while long term study come from a 40 to 57% yield decline in width without fertilizer application. So, you know that uh, the population of the human being is increasing fast. And it is true that by the application of the chemical fertilizer, we can in increase the yield 40 to 57 percent. If we are not used, then the yield is declined about 50 percent. And if the yield is declined, then it is very difficult to supply the food to the ever increasing population of the India. Then UCIP and co worker 2017 reported a 19 to 41% yield increase in rice and 61 to 76% yield in rapeseed with the combined application of NDK fertilizer. So, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer required for the higher crop production. Thus, improper fertilizing technology might have a negative effect on soil health and soil related ecosystem service. You know that when we are apply the unbalanced nutrition or in particular technology, then it is negative effect on soil health and soil related ecosystem service. Imbalanced use of chemical fertilizer can alter soil pH and increase pesticide acidification and soil crust, which resulted in decrease in soil organic carbon and useful organism. Planting plant growth and yield and even leading to the emission of greenhouse gases. So at present, we are observing the emission of greenhouse. We are observing global warming. So a major challenge for agriculture sustainability is to conserve ecosystem service deliberately, delivery while optimizing active agriculture yield. So we, we should have to use the chemical fertilizer and pesticide, but judiciously. And we should have to use as per the need of the soil and as per the need of the crop. Chemical fertilizer and their impact on soil health. So, Pahel V and his co-worker 2021 reported that continuous utilization of chemical fertilizer is responsible for the decline of soil organic matter content coupled with decrease in the quality of agriculture soil. The overuse of chemical fertilizer Harden the soil, reduce soil fertility, polluted, pollutes air, water, and soil, and lessen important nutrient of soil and mineral, thereby bringing hazards to environment. Soil utilization of chemical fertilizer lead to weak microbial activity in the cropping system. So, if you are not using the manures and only using the chemical fertilizer and then you know that farmers are solely depend on the chemical fertilizer. So at present we are observing the less population of the microorganism, and we are knowing that the role of the microorganism, the nutrients are present in the soil in soluble form, but they are made soluble with the help of the microbial. But the population of the microbial is low. So, at present, we have to add more chemical fertilizer to obtain, to obtain the higher crop production because there is a less microorganism present in this soil. So, constant use of chemical fertilizer can alter the pH of soil, increase paste acidification and soil crust, which result in decreasing organic metal load, humus load, useful organism stunting plant growth and even become responsible for the emission of greenhouse gases. This will undoubtedly influence the soil, diver, soil biodiversity by upsetting soil well being because of long time persistent in it. So we are knowing that chemical fertilizer remain and pesticides remain 
persistent in soil for a longer period and there is a good effect on soil fertility and other physical and chemical reaction of the soil. Then soil analysis. <clears throat> the farmer should have to apply balanced chemical fertilizer in soil as per the need of soil and crop and can be known by the soil testing before sowing and planting of crop. So soil testing is very important because we know the initial nutrient status of the soil and as per the need of the crop and soil, we should have to apply the nutrient in soil through manures, fertilizers and through the biofertilizers. Therefore, farmers are requested to carry out soil analysis before sowing planting the crop at the repeated soil testing lab where you will get the perfect advice on manure and fertilizer application in soil or for your application. So, Shivam Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory, so Bhavnagar. So, last three years I am serving as a Chief Soil Health Specialist in Shivam Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory and I am advised to the farmers on the basis of the soil test value which type of manure require, which type of chemical fertilizer require, which type of micronutrient require. So I, we are giving the advice throughout the India. So we are giving the vernacular language in Gujarati, Hindi or English. So as per the demand of the farmer, we can communicate to the results or advice to the farmer on soil test basis and water test basis. So our phone number, our company is your Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory phone number plus 91 63 59 59 59 and 59. Then email info at the rate of mati mati Then our website at double in. So I am requesting to the farmers that don't apply the chemical fertilizer as per your wish or as per the advice of the fertilizer merchant. But you should have to add this chemical fertilizer as per the soil test value so that your soil remain healthy and sustainable for a longer period. Otherwise, if you are adding the unbalanced nutrition without knowing the soil health or nutrient status of the soil, your soil has been degraded and you lose the crop productivity. So tip for farmer for reducing pesticide impact on wildlife. So different points I have given. So keep pesticide out of store drains and gutters. Be aware of the geology and the relative depth of the groundwater in your area. Then follow the implement an indicated pest management plan which use culture, mechanical and biological pest control where possible. So don't solely depend on the pesticide residue, chemical, sorry, chemicals, chemical pesticides, but you follow the cultural, mechanical and biological pest control. That is indicated pest management very important to control the pest of the crops. Where possible, leave a border of untreated vegetation between treated area and areas where wildlife may be present. So we have to take care of wildlife, otherwise the wildlife has a damage. Take care when planting treated seed to prevent dust that could affect bees. So we should have to keep bees because you know that the role of the bees is pollination. And if the pollination is less, then the crop production has been declined. Follow label precaution designed to protect pollinators and be aware of any hives in the area that could be affected by spraying. So we should have to keep the pollinators and they are the bees. Read our news labeling to improve protection for bees. So we should have to follow the new labeling for the protection of the bee and it is uh, important for the pollination and for the higher crop production. So last suggestion, so improper amount 
or placement of fertilizer for animal waste can lead to water pollution and poor growth. The farmers are suggested to judicious use of chemical fertilizer on a soil test basis as per the need of the crop and soil so that it reduces the harmful effect on soil health resulting in keeping clean environment so human and animal health remain healthy. Farmers in many countries can reduce fertilizer use without sacrificing food production. So we should have to use, farmers are believe that uh, excessive for application of the fertilizer in soil, there will be more crop production, but it is not true. And we should have to add the nutrient, balanced nutrition and as per the soil test value, then definitely we can increase the crop production and quality too. Farmer could have to adopt either organic farming or natural farming. They are also suggested to adopt integrated nutrient management, means use chemical fertilizer, manure and biofertilizer for high crop production, profitable farming, maintaining soil health and soil sustainability and helping in the mitigation of climate change. They may also advise to adopt integrated farming system. Integrated farming system means you keep the animals, you keep the uh, poultry, men, poultry and fish and other things, but you know that uh, animal, then cattle or buffalo, along with the agriculture crops, then our soil will be improved because we are getting the farm yard manure from the animals and and whatever the byproducts of the agriculture crops that we can feed to the animals. Wherever it is possible to obtain shade advantage. So you know that in uh, biological integrated farming system are adopting throughout the world and in India, the farmers are adopting the integrated farming system. But at present, uh, we are observing that uh, young people or young boys are not preferred to keep the animals because they they assume that there is a bad order from the cow dung or buffalo dung and they are not keep the animals resulted in the soil become also poor in fertility and only they rely the farmers are rely on the only chemical fertilizer and at present, we are observing that the crop product uh, that crop productivity has been declined because they use the only chemical fertilizer and not add farmyard um, manure. Means the organic matter is low in soil, and therefore we are not getting the low, uh, higher crop production, and the population of the microorganism has been also declined. Declined because you know that the food of the microorganism is organic matter. And we are not adding the organic matter, then they are not survive, and the population of the microorganism has been declined. But, and therefore, it is not for India, but globally, the scientists have started and advised to the farmer that to follow the organic farming, or natural farming, or regenerative agriculture, or dynamic farming, so that the population of the microorganism has been maintained and the soil become live and produce the higher crop production. <clears throat> so thank you very much. And if you have liked my video, then please subscribe. So thank you very much again.